Todd. Friends, we come here today at the invitation of Stephanie and Brian. Shared joy of the celebration of this wedding. In this outward celebration, we shall see several things as already witnessed. We see the expression of their inner love and their devotion for one another. Jesus Christ reminds us that at the beginning the Creator made us both male and female. And he says, For this child, the man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Stephanie and Brian come here today not only before us, before family, but also before God as their witness. And they spoke to me and they said that they wanted to be clear about their faith in Jesus Christ. So Brian, you've declared that you've received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and choose to serve Him all of the days of your life. Yes? And Stephanie, you've declared that you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and choose to serve Him all the days of your life. God loved us and He created us to love others. Our lives find completeness only as we love and are loved and love. Together we can become what we could never be separately. Marriage is of God. Brian and Stephanie come today desiring to be united in this sacred relationship. Brian and Stephanie, you stand here today. The ceremony of marriage in which you come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in all the world. Celebrated in the beginning, the very presence of God Himself. The marriage is a gift of God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys. Marriage is a clasping of hands and blending of hearts, union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand, not by the authority of the state of California or the seal on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love and the faith that you have in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize God as a source of romance and love and affection. These are his gifts. <coughs> Build your home on a spiritual foundation. With God, you'll have everything. Without him, you'll have everything. Ryan, as you say from where I come, it's time to tie the knot. <laughs> you repeat this vow to Stephanie, saying after me, I, Brian, take you Stephanie to my wife. I, Brian, take you Stephanie to my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this, this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For more. For more. For sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So we are separated by death. So we are separated by death. As God is my witness. As God as my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Stephanie, you repeat this vow to Brian. Sitting after me. I Stephanie take you, Brian, to be my husband. I Stephanie take you, Brian, to be my husband. To have and to hold. <laughs> to have and to hold. This day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. Sickness. To love and to cherish, until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. And we have the presentation of the rings. Thank <laughs> you. 
ring, with its ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise. Be your faithful and loving husband. Be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Seven. Take your place on your finger on his left hand. He after me this promise. Say. With this ring, I seal my promise. Be your faithful and loving wife. God is my witness. Let's pray. Father God, we come here before you today asking your blessing upon these new lives, this home being established. We're thankful for the love we see here, and even more for the love we feel for you. May we never take your love for granted. We pray that your love will be the shield and the anchor for Brian and Stephanie. And when joy comes, may they share it together, and in the time of sorrow, may it draw them to each other, grant them patience, gentleness, and understanding. Father, protect their home from the forces that would want to break it apart. We speak health, long life, and the fulfillment of their dreams. May their love continue in life and finally blend into the eternal life. In Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. I and Stephanie come here today before us, before God, you have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by going to him. You have made promises of faith and devotion to each to the other. And have sealed these promises by giving and receiving the grace. I therefore pronounce you husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Ryan, make this your bride. <laughs> God is joined together, let no man separate. It gives me great honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Barbley. Love you guys. Great love you. Hi, Dad. Hi, daughter. What the hell? I We are officially grandparents. All right. You got eight more. You got to be Nana and Papa. Actually, just family grandpa. Yeah. Oh. Do, but, I, but what I'm saying is weird that, you know, well, I can't believe They're going to be taking pictures, so it's going to be a little while, okay, but we can retreat to the reception area, which is up those stairs, I believe, and I think there's some drinking that could go on there and what have you, so. Oh, oh they're all. I know all this family here. Family to stay. 